are the headlines for today's Radio 1 News Update. Anlong Wang, flooding, not a bad thing. No fees to transport corpses. Duterte takes war on drugs to the stage. Gene Wilder, Willy Wonka star and comedic icon, dies at 83. President Rousseff takes the stand in Brazil impeachment trial. Thousands rescued from boats off Libya. This is the Radio 1 News Update. I'm Lady Miriam. At least seven homes and about 20 hectares of farmland were nearly completely submerged by flooding after a torrential rainstorm in Odar Manche's Anlongwang commune. Despite the potential damage to local crops, the rain was welcome as rice farms were desperate for water following a recent drought. The Ministry of Health yesterday instructed all state health facility ambulances to stop charging a fee for transporting deceased patients from health facilities to their homes. And now, a quick word from our sponsors. Coming up next, international news. Philippine police, heavily criticized by rights groups for killing hundreds of drug dealers and users, are using a comedy puppet of Rodrigo Duterte to get the president's war on drugs message across to Manila school children. Gene Wilder, who regularly stole the show in such comedic gems as The Producers, Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and Stir Crazy, died Monday at his home in Stamford, Connecticut. His nephew said he died of complications from Alzheimer's disease. He was 83. Brazil's post-Olympic high came to an end as Rousseff's impeachment trial began. Her remarks from the Senate floor suggested the suspended president had no intention of accepting the bid for her impeachment without a fight. About 6,500 refugees and migrants have been rescued off Libya, the Italian Coast Guard says in one of the biggest operations of its kind to date. This has been the Radio 1 News Update. Stay tuned for more news on Radio 1 FM 103.7.